Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. That's a joke, too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. I'm at a loss. All right, find out what Coombs knows about our lead-footed friend, Cliff Harrison. I clean cars here, mister. Better speak to the boss. Hey, hey, hey! That what the hell are you doing? Hand grenade and a barrel of oatmeal. I like to think it, Phelps. Call it evidence. The guy's an asshole. You can pick it up at the pound. Sure I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son? I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and cops. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. You boys sure you got what you came for? Advice? Please, Phelps. I'm begging you. Get the information out of this clown so we can leave. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. You're lying. You buy stolen cars and then resell them. You have some evidence to back up that outrageous aspersion? Son, you are more mixed up than a feather in a hurricane. I'm getting tired of you. You need to give us something, Coombs, if you don't want to be implicated in this. Yap, yap, yap. Son, your problem is that your gums keep flapping, but you do no listening. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. You're making this up. There's no Gene Archer. She's fictional to cover up the fact that you sold a stolen car. How long did you say you'd been standing out in the sun? I hope you can prove that nefarious allegation. Go away, son. You're starting to bother me. So this dizzy broad walks in here off the street and sells you a two-year-old car for half the price and you don't ask any questions. I'd say that about sums it up nicely. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. That's a lie, Coombs. You're printing the slips. This whole racket comes back to you. So, I'm some kind of criminal kingpin. Son, I can't wait to see you prove it. How about you take it easy, kid? You're going about it like a sailor in a whorehouse, grabbing whatever you can reach. 
These pink slips are leading us to something big, Coombs. It's time to stop being cute. I'm going to assume you're having a bad day, son. I sell cars, not paper. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. You're lying, Coombs. You knew the car was stolen. You have some sort of crystal ball tucked in your jacket that can help you prove it? You should try rubbing some oil on that hard head of yours. Are we done here? What can you tell us about Archer? Somewhat on the simple side. In a big hurry, too. We get awful attentive to people who obstruct LAPD investigations. Help me out. Please, Phelps. I'm begging you. Get the information out of this clown so we can leave. Sure I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son? I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and cops. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. It says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. I think you paid her in cash. This bogus check means that you can claim against your business insurance if it all goes wrong. You got some way of proving that, Sonny? You know, that's a damn good idea. I'll have to keep that in mind. Meanwhile, are we done here? So with the banks closed over the weekend, I might be able to stop payment. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. Sure I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son? I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and cops. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car salesmen. 
doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line, just to get the hell out of there. 